Yes. So, Jake, you just want to talk about being a uh, third year guy now. You know, you like the, the hype with you, of course, when you first came out, is that you the, here's this guy that's supposed to still be in high school. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, the tables are turned. You're a true season veteran going into this season. What is different with your mindset? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that's been so crazy for me is, is going from a guy that wanting, wanting to, you know, learn everything from older guys to, to, to teaching, you know, to carry on and Jay um, stuff about the game. You know, obviously I'm still learning each and every day too, but um, going from the young guy to the upperclassman is a different experience, but it's a cool one and it's cool to see how that I've grown and our team has grown through the process. And another, another thing with that, too, is, of course, you've had the benefit of having some guys like Hayden Hurst, who is a, a, you know, brings new meaning to the term older guy, a lot of maturity there. What were you able to take from him, and what were you kind of use that you learned from these older guys to kind of redistribute to the younger folks? We look at Hayden, just the, the way he approached each and every day. I mean, he came in with the same mindset, the same intensity. You know, whether it was a workout or a meeting or, or, or a practice, he came, in, he came in each and every day with the same mindset. And uh, you can really just see how much he loved the game through everything he did. Um, and just he was always up here. I mean, he was up here just as much as I was last year. And so it was just very impressive how much, that, how much time and effort he went into it. And obviously it worked out for him uh, getting, getting picked in the first round. You mentioned earlier about the, you know, the younger quarterbacks like Jay and to carry on. What can you kind of say as far as what you see from those guys since you did get to spend some time with them and just kind of progression, say, from the spring game until today? Both very smart guys. Both want to learn. They're constantly in the film room um, wanting to, you know, learn and get better each and every day. Uh, you know, me and Jay sit in there all the time, and he, he asked me, like, would you have done the same thing on this play? Um, you know, and I, and I give my feedback and just different stuff like that. And the carry on is always eager to learn too. Um, so it's just really two great guys that are that are just uh, that love football. And without divulging too much information, um, a lot of teams tend to have a change of pace quarterback. Let's say, for instance, you know you you get a little gas during the game. You, you know, could there possibly be some packages where maybe we see a guy like Jay or to carry on come in and and take a series in one of these games? Yeah, I mean, I'm not real sure about that. That'd be a question for Coach McClendon. Um, just going there and trying to win games. Uh, speaking of Coach McClendon, obviously the big change this season is the up tempo. That's what everybody's been hearing. Um, maybe some questions, you know, can Jake run up tempo? But obviously a guy like you, it's, it's not new to you. You've done it before. So what what can you kind of say as far as the up tempo, as far as your comfort level, and you know, if, if you could give the fans something to kind of learn from, what might that be? You know, I think it's, it makes me more comfortable going up tempo. I think uh, it gives me the ability to not think as much and uh, be able to get the play and just go with it and uh, not, not having to analyze so much and think about everything that could happen. Um, just really getting to play and, and rolling with it, and uh, I think it helps me a lot. And uh, one of the sayings is the team is only as good as the last game that they played, and that Michigan game really for three quarters was not looking so great. And then all of a sudden you get to the last part of the third quarter, into the fourth quarter, and you guys really just kind of took over. What did you kind of learn about this team, about yourself, that was able to, to go against such a tough defense and really swing the tables the way you guys did? I think it just proves how resilient our team is, how resilient uh, of a mindset we had going into that game, um, knowing that whatever whatever happened, we're not going to give up. And um, the defense did a tremendous job of keeping us in the game, and uh, a lot of credit to them and, and uh, you know, credit to the to all the guys on offense who never stopped uh, believing, never really got down on ourselves, knew that we still had a chance to come back. and. Um, and, and just that resiliency is what, uh, what got us to uh, go in. And just last question for you. Um, I know you got to spend some time with these young receivers. Um, what are these guys that have just come in that there's a lot of hype, a lot of excitement about? Which of these guys did you see really do you feel like can take a big step this season? Well, I don't know if you look at Josh Van, I think he's going to be a guy that, that helps us um, for sure. He's going to have to play for us. Um, going more up-tempo, the, the receiver is probably going to get – a little bit more tired, so he can be able to step in and, and get some uh, get some uh, big minutes for us, make some big plays. So he's the guy that's really impressed me so far.